and welcome along. This is the second of two videos for today's Fact Sheet Friday. This one focusing on Fact Sheets 12 and 13, which were released today by Giant Software. I think these might be the most jam-packed fact sheets so far, covering nine different pieces of equipment over the two fact sheets for images. So let's take a look. Beginning with fact sheet 12a, we have confirmation of the return of JCB to Farming Simulator with the fantastic Fast Track 4220, categorized as a tractor with a base price of 196,000. It has an engine power rating of 173 kilowatts or 235 horsepower. It has a fuel capacity of 390 litres and a maximum speed of 62 kilometres per hour or 38 miles per hour. It has optional steering functions of all-wheel or front-wheel steering and customization options for front-loader attacher, wheel brand and wheel setup. The last of these has options of standard, wide tyres, twin wheels, narrow tyres or communal. Attached behind the JCB is the SIWA720 from new brand Schultzmaker. Classed as a trailer with a base price of 55,000, it has a customizable capacity of 45,000 to 48,000 litres. It also has customization options for the wheel brand. It can be loaded with wood chips sugarcane, chaff, grass, hay, straw and silage. I am very pleased to see JCB finally confirmed in the game and I'm even happier to see the official debut of the 4220. The trailer featured here seems to be a nice addition too but the thing that really stands out for me is the customizable capacity, a feature that I believe is new to Farming Simulator 19. Fact Sheet 12b is a new wheel loader from New Holland, along with the Magisai high dump bucket that returns from Farming Simulator 17. The New Holland W190D wheel loader has a base price of 175,000 and it has an engine power rating of 172 kilowatts or 234 horsepower. It has a fuel capacity of 288 litres and a maximum speed of 40 kilometres per hour or 24 miles per hour. Customizations include wheel brand and wheel setup, which has a choice between standard twin wheels and narrow twin wheels. The Magisai High Jump Bucket is classed as a wheel loader attachment with a price of 3,600 and a capacity of 3,000 litres. It can be filled with all 23 solid loads available in-game. The little brother of the wheel loader was available as a day one mod for Farming Simulator 17 and it's great to see the wheel loader options expand with this new one. The Magisai High Dump Bucket is also a welcome return for Farming Simulator 19. Fact Sheet 13 opens with something of a surprise with the John Deere 6M series tractor. It has a base price of 119,500 and an engine power rating between 104 to 184 kilowatts or 100 and 21 to 164 horsepower. The fuel capacity is 265 litres and its maximum speed is 40 kilometres per hour or 24 miles per hour. Customizations available are front weight, engine setup, front loader attacher, wheel brand and wheel setup, the last of which you can choose from standard, wide tyres, narrow tyres, rear twin wheels, twin wheels, wheel weights and wide tyres with weights. Also featured is the John Deere 643R front loader, which has a price of 5400 Finally, for the first part of this fact sheet, we have the DE551FL bale spike and unroller combo, and together these two items have a price of 2300 After seeing the reveal of the John Deere 6R in the Harvesting Crops gameplay trailer, the 6M is a huge but welcome surprise. 
The John Deere branded front loader is also a nice addition, as are the bale spike and unroller. The final piece of equipment for this set of fact sheets and the focus of fact sheet 13B is the Straumann VM1702 double SF fast cut uh, self propelled mixer wagon. It has a price of 158,000 and an engine power rating of 129 kilowatts or 175 horsepower. The fuel capacity is 400 litres and the maximum speed is 40 kilometres per hour or 24 miles per hour. It has a capacity of 17,000 litres and can be loaded with forage, power food, hay, straw and silage. Another nice new addition, this mixer wagon has a good size capacity and should be very useful to anyone with a sizable cattle setup. So there we go. Let us know in the comments what you think to these new bits of kit. For now, though, all that remains is for me to say thank you for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Please give it a like, drop us a comment and give it a share. And for all the latest videos from Virtual Farmer, please subscribe to the channel and ring that bell. And I will see you next time. Goodbye.